Welcome. My name is Regina Suit, and I'm the President-Elect and Public Policy Chair for COABE. COABE provides leadership, communication, professional development, and advocacy for the field of adult education. We're very excited today to recognize two legislative leadership champions. We've been recognizing two every day this week in honor of Adult Education and Family Literacy Week. So I'm really excited now to share the videos from our legislative champions, Senator Young, and Mayor Mendenhall. Enjoy. State Advocate for Adult Education Fellow from the great state of Indiana. It is my pleasure to introduce Senator Todd Young. Senator Todd Young represents Hoosiers in the United States Senate. He currently serves on the Senate Committees on Finance, Foreign Relations, Commerce, Science, tra and Transportation, and Small Business and Entrepreneurship. He is a fifth generation Hoosier. Todd grew up watching his parents work hard to support the family. His first jobs were delivering newspapers, mowing lawns, and providing janitorial services for the family business. He is a graduate of the United States Naval Academy in Maryland. He graduated with honors in 1995 and accepted a commission in the U.S. Marine Corps. In 2000, he was honorably discharged from the Marine Corps as a captain. While serving in the Marines and working as a business consultant, Todd earned an MBA and a law degree. In 2010, he ran for Congress and served three terms representing Indiana's 9th District. He was elected to the U.S. Senate in 2016. He works hard for education. Ladies and gentlemen, Senator Todd Young. Hello, members of the Coalition on Adult Basic Education. I want to thank you very much for representing adult educators who are serving more than 26,000 adult learners in Indiana alone. As I travel the highways and byways of the Hoosier State, I just wanted to take a moment to thank you very much for nominating me to the prestigious Champion of Adult Education Leadership Award. Bills like strengthening the Adult Education Act will boost adult education and improve literacy among our population. Adult education is essential to ensure that all of uh, our, our fellow citizens can realize that next step in their careers and support their families and live, lead lives of dignity. So um, I just wanted to wish you all a very happy Adult Education and Family Literacy Week. And um, I'm grateful for this opportunity to be of service. My name is Joshua Bell. I'm the principal here at Horizonte Instruction and Training Center, which is located in Salt Lake City, Utah. It's my great privilege and honor today to recognize Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall. Mayor Mendenhall has done a tremendous job supporting all learners in Salt Lake City, especially those adult learners who've been marginalized and most affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. Mayor Mendenhall has placed a priority on apprenticeships in both technology as well as the, med as well as the medical fields. Mayor Mendenhall has placed extraordinary emphasis 
on providing training for adults who have atrophied skill sets so they can learn new skills and become active members of our workforce. I'm happy to be here in Salt Lake City working with Mayor Mendenhall, and it's been a pleasure watching the impact that she's had on not just our community and our school district, but adult learners across the state of Utah. It's leaders like Mayor Mendenhall that are going to lead the change to a more robust and productive world through helping educate our adults. Thank you, Mayor Aaron Mendenhall. Thank you, Coalition on Adult Basic Education for this recognition. Creating pathways for adults to gain education, new skills, return to the workforce after employment gaps, and improve the lives of their families is a priority for me and my administration. Last year, we started Salt Lake City's apprenticeship program to introduce people to the variety of technical and trade positions that are offered by the city and provide education and mentorship all at a living wage. Adult education can make a tremendous difference in the lives of families, particularly those that typically earn low wages. Salt Lake City is proud to have funded 50 part-time apprenticeship positions that for some will transition into full-time employment with the city and for others will provide valuable education and experience that they can take with them to their next job. What's more, we've invested in making our capital city synonymous with technology and healthcare innovation and providing ways for our residents to connect with those high paying, resilient jobs. Thank you again for this recognition and for the work you do to advocate for adult education and literacy practitioners and for the ways you improve services for all adult learners. Thank you so much to our champions and to those who nominated them. Make sure to thank them uh, for their support um, and tag them on social media. So COIB has organized a number of a great events this week um, that are taking place throughout the week to honor and support and uplift the wonderful work that is taking place in the field. Later today at 2 p.m. Eastern time, we have an exciting research project a return on investment initiative that COE will be launching. So I hope you can join us for, th for that, that launch at 2 p.m. Eastern time. And if not, um, then please go back and replay these um, events at a, a, later, a later time. The next thing um, we have that we wanna just really make sure that you're aware of is yesterday we had a great webinar um, launching Intersect 2021 and there was many great resources that were shared. So please go back and watch that for, from day three, that Intersect 2021. Lots of funding available for adult education programs, lots of opportunities. Make sure also, I've been seeing uh, lots of great um, activity um, on Twitter. So please join us on our Twitter storm. It's really easy, three clicks, go to the COEB webpage um, to, uh, uh, to participate in the Twitter storm happening all this week. Make sure to join us on social media. I have seen, lots, like I said, lots and lots of um, activity. Tag your legislators, tag your governors and mayors, and make sure you thank them for your support for adult education. Use that hashtag AEFL Week 2021. Tomorrow's the last day uh, uh, this week. Uh, we'll be uh, providing um, uh, events for uh, Adult Education Family Literacy Week. So tomorrow, we have a Facebook Live event with our state advocates uh, fellows. So these are the folks that are out in the field, um, you know, getting proclamations and meeting with the um, local and state legislators and federal legislators. So uh, join them to, to hear about all their activities for the week, everything they've been doing and their plans going forward. We also have, um, again, two legislative leadership awards that we'll be giving out tomorrow. And then there's going to be, um, we really want to um, encourage state association and state leaders to join us at 2 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow for a debrief of all of the activities that happened for the week. We wanna learn um, what we can do better and what worked. So uh, please join us for all of these activities continuing for this week. Um, and thank you uh, for everything that you do for the field of adult education. <music>